Guys, welcome back. Uh, we have another exciting episode in the Unlikely DIY series. So uh, this is an infrared cooker for my barbecue grill. And as you can see from up here, the, uh, the frame, the trim work has oxidized and you know burned off completely. So what this does is, whenever we turn on the gas and we try to use the infrared cooker to kind of increase the heat, the, uh, the aerodynamics or the fluid dynamics of the gas flow comes in in such a way where it won't stay lit. You know, it, it would come on and then it would die out. All because the the gas is not properly, you know, vented or flowing. So what we're doing today is we bought a piece of uh, 304 stainless steel from uh, Arlo Steel and we're going to kind of add it on here as a makeshift trim piece and hopefully uh, resolve this problem. All right, let's fire it up and see if uh, it worked. Gas it on. Yeah, I think it's working. You can see the steam. That means uh, the fire is in place. Yeah, fixed. It's probably not working at its optimal efficiency, but you know, better than what we had before, which was nothing. All right, if you have uh, problems like this, I hope this helps you. Good luck. So this existing faceplate was held in with these um, these one stainless uh, bolts, but as you could see, this one fractured off when we're trying to take it off. So what we're doing now is we're trying to drill it out uh, the one sixteenth bit, one sixteenth inch bit. Yeah, it's not fun. So uh, I'll come back once we get it extracted.